P.T. Peacock. Peacock reads. Peacock reads. Peacock reads. There is a problem in Pleasant Park," said Papa Peacock. "It is too cold for picnics. There are no peanuts, popcorn, or crumbs left on the picnic tables. The park pigeons don't have anything to eat." Papa Peacock told the little peacocks to try to think of a way to help the park pigeons. Pity Peacock wrapped up in his warm parka coat. Pity Peacock put his purple scarf around his neck. Then Pity Peacock went out into the snow. Pity Peacock was on his way to see Piney Pine. Puff, puff, puff! Pity Peacock panted as he plowed through the snow. Pity Peacock plowed right up to Piney Pine. Oh, Piney Pine! Panted Pity Peacock. We need your help. There is a problem in Pleasant Park. The park pigeons cannot find any food. We must help the poor pigeons," said Piney Pine. "But how?" pleaded Pity Peacock. Piney Pine shook his great green head. Plop! One of Piney Pine's biggest pine cones fell. The big pine cone hit Pity Peacock right on his purple head. Pity Peacock patted the bump place on his purple head. Pity Peacock picked up the pine cone. Suddenly, Pity Peacock smiled. "Piney Pine!" cried Pity Peacock. "I know just how we can solve the pigeons' problem. I must run and tell Papa Peacock. I'll be back as quickly as I can." Piney Pine watched Pity Peacock. Peter patter down the slippery path. What is Pity Peacock planning to do? Thought Piney Pine as he dropped another pine cone. Pretty soon, Pity Peacock came back up the pebble pathway. Behind Pity Peacock was the entire Peacock family. Papa Peacock was carrying a box. In Papa Peacock's box was a pint, a jar of peanut butter. Mama had a big ball of string in her purse. Patrick Peacock was carrying a large plastic bag full of popcorn. Pity Peacock was carrying a pail. Penny Peacock was carrying a package of seeds. Piney Pine called Pity Peacock. You can help the pigeons more than anyone. Please fill this pail with pine cones. Whoa! Exclaimed Piney Pine, "That is a simple job for a pine tree." Piney Pine pressed his branches together. Plenty of pine cones fell to the ground with a plunk. Peter Patter, all the little peacocks picked up pine cones. They worked together to pack them into the pail. That's perfect," said Papa Peacock. Praise the Lord for Piney Pine," said Mama. Piney Pine did not know what to say. He did not know what they were doing. Piney Pine watched the Peacock family. First, Papa Peacock tied a piece of string around a pine cone. Next, Mama packed peanut butter into the pine cone. Then, Patrick rolled the pine cone in the package of seeds. Penny opened the plastic bag of popcorn. Peter Patter. All the rest of the little peacocks poke a piece of popcorn into the open places of the pine cone. Finally, Pity Peacock tied the pine cones back on Piney Pine's branches. Soon, Piney Pine had all his pine cones back. 
piney pine was now a tree full of food for the pigeons. Piney pine smiled from branch to branch. It seemed as if Peachy Peach was smiling too, even in her sleep. The peacock family went back to their cozy peacock home. Pity Peacock ran to his bedroom window. Perhaps the Pleasant Park pigeons had already found the food on Piney Pine. Peck, peck, Pity Peacock could see hungry pigeons from his window. The pigeons were poking their beaks into the packed pine cones. Peck, peck, the pigeons were pecking and pecking for popcorn and seeds. Yay, cried Pity Peacock. Piney Pine is special, just the way God made him. I'm so glad you and I are special too, just the way God made us. That's a promise from Pity Peacock.